Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Moved to Orlando, a special series that we're doing where we talk to folks who've actually made the move here to Central Florida. Uh, I'm your host, Pete Werner, and uh, we're joined this week by a real estate agent with Keller Williams at the Parks, Mr. Sean Falk. Hi. And our guest this week is Mary Myers. Hi. And before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that if you are actively looking to move to Central Florida, please be sure to check out our website, movingtoorlando.com. And if you need the help of a great real estate agent, uh, you can reach out to Sean at uh, Sean, S-E-A-N, at movingtoorlando.com or admin, if that's easier, admin at movingtoorlando.com as well. That works. All right. So, Mary, thank you for taking time uh, to chat with us. Uh, first off, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself so we can get to know okay. you. Sure. Um, I am originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I actually grew up in Annapolis, uh, moved to Baltimore when I got married. I um, worked for the state of Maryland for 30 years before I retired from there. Um, worked for the Baltimore Orioles for 30 years and worked for the Baltimore Ravens for 17 years. So 17 years I spent working three jobs. Uh, first trip down to Orlando. Okay, that's was... a whole that's a whole nother show, isn't it? <laughs> that's gonna be because I got to I'm gonna let you finish, but I got to ask some questions. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, first trip down to Orlando was in uh, 1983. It was a girls trip. Uh, with some friends of mine, we spent two weeks down visiting the parks and the, the beaches, uh, fell in love with the parks and started coming back uh, regularly, uh, became a DVC member in two, 1998. Home resort is Boardwalk, added on at Bay Lake Towers. Uh, and I was single when I bought at, uh, in the DVC. So I was a DVC member I bought when I was single. Um, uh, met and married my husband and introduced him to the parks. He had been to the parks one time and that was with his parents, uh, back in 81. So only magic kingdom. So Epcot was not open yet and, uh, have enjoyed the parks, uh, ran into, uh, my parents ran into some health issues, passed away within three months of each other. Mm -hmm. And at that point I was like, I need a change. And that's when my husband and I discussed moving down to Orlando. Uh, we moved down here in September of 2018. And I couldn't be happier. For me and for my husband, it was the best decision uh, just because of getting away from the family memories. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 I've got to follow up. I've got to follow up on this three job thing. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit more about that. What were you doing in the, in that capacity? Well, I worked full time for the state of Maryland. I worked um, in the health insurance. Uh, I paid all the health insurance claims for state employees, retirees, contractuals. Uh, I love that. I was an accountant there. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, I have, I love the Orioles. I love baseball. And so it was just natural for me to get a job there when a friend of mine at work says, hey, anybody interested? Uh, so I started working there back at Memorial Stadium, moved to the new facility, Camden Yards, and worked there until 2018 before my husband this, and I moved down here. Was this while you were working for the state? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And then the Ravens. How did the Ravens figure into this equation? Well, well, they were only 10. You think about it. NFL is only um, eight games, eight home games plus two preseason. So it's 10 games. So it's only 10 days. Baseball sense. is 81 days at home. You know, it's 162, season, 162 game season. So I would just go from work to the stadium and home. I was very fortunate. My house was maybe five minutes by car uh, from the stadium. Wow. You know, so that that was that was the best part. But some of those years I was driving back and forth to Annapolis after baseball games. So only mm -hmm. the last 15 years was I work was I living uh, within within a few minutes of the stadium. OK, so uh, you moved down here in 2018. 
Um, mm-hmm. What section of town did you settle on? I am in the Horizons West area, but I, I'm in Windermere. So I'm, I am in um, Lakeside Village, which I think was the first section of Horizons West that was developed. And I'm, uh, I can see the fireworks when they're happening. So I can uh, hear the fireworks and see the fireworks uh, every night when, when Disney is shooting them off. Um, uh, go, go ahead. Now it's, uh, I, um, we're in a development that is right off over street 535. So it's, it's a great little area, very walkable. Oh, awesome. That's mm-hmm. great. Sean, did you have a question? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, how do you feel? Um, obviously a lot of people move for Disney as one portion of why they're moving. I mean, mm-hmm. cause there's other elements, obviously you got to work and live and figure out why you're doing it. But, um, how has that been with it being an escape? You know, my, my mom, my, my dad died last year. And so, you know, that's left my mom in Tennessee by herself. Cause me and my brother both live in Florida. So she's getting ready to come down and it's similar as part, kind of an escape. And we're hoping that's going to help her. Has that been beneficial to you to just be away from the memories of well, my, time? my family is still up in Balt, uh, up in Maryland. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my brother is up there. My aunts and uncles are all up there. Um, mm-hmm. it, it was, it was necessary for me and my husband just came along for the ride. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it was just, um, the the last six months that my parents were al- were alive, I was very into their health care. So mm-hmm. I was I was driving back and forth to Annapolis and Baltimore um, to hospitals. I never want to go into another hospital again. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was it was very tough. My mom passed away on election night. I said she didn't want to know who won the election. And then my father passed away three days or three months later, um, the day before Valentine's Day. And so from September through that February, it was just very intense. And I just needed to get away from Maryland. I hated winter, the the memories, the, you know, everything. I just needed a new beginning, I guess is how I would frame, uh, frame that. And it's, it's been, it's been good. It's, you know, the, it was necessary. It's hard leaving the family back there. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, my brothers come down to visit. My aunt and uncle have come down to visit. I have a, a very close friend that's come down several times. Uh, you know, so the people that care, <laughs> they know where we are. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 you know, thank God for Southwest because Baltimore is a hub. So it's very easy to travel back and forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's it's it was good. That's good. Now, Mary, you had been coming to Disney on vacations for thirty years prior mm-hmm. to moving here. Um, talk to me about the di- uh, the difference between the expectations that you had when you would think of moving to Orlando versus the reality of once you got here. You know, I thought about I thought about this. And we really tempered our expectations. I don't think we really had expectations. We knew that the cost of living, at least for us, from where we came from, it being the Mid-Atlantic and Maryland, which is a very high-taxed state, we knew we would be better off down here. Mm -hmm. Uh, One, our pension isn't taxed. There's there's savings there because they're they're taxed in Maryland. Um, So... You know, our expectations, I think, were realistic Mm -hmm. where we 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 knew that some things would be more expensive down here. We knew things would be cheaper down here. Um, So I think that in that aspect, I think, you know, we were pretty (coughs) right on with what we were thinking would be. And I think that's an element a lot of people don't uh, necessarily even think about. Um, you know, I didn't know that about Maryland, that the pensions are taxed. Um, you know, as people are in different parts of the country, each each area, each state has its own 
laws and everything. And obviously we have some, some wild stuff here that happens in Florida, as everybody knows, but, um, we have some really good perks as well. Like we don't have, uh, our state taxes and everything. You know, I just filed my taxes and it was really nice to just do federal and then not have to do state (laughs) on top of that. So there's a lot to look into beyond, I want to move to Disney and I want to move into a a house it, it, cause you know, we have homestead down here so you can get uh, some good savings there and everything, but it's important for people to look into uh, possible savings and possible differences in where they're moving from. Right. And, and right. I think, I think that's the biggest challenge, especially with people moving from the Midwest, um, you know, where the cost of living is, is much cheaper. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, housing especially is much cheaper in the Midwest. I mean, to give you a frame of reference, we lived in Baltimore City. In in the city, mm-hmm. we had a house that was built in 1890s, and it was about 900 square feet. And our house here in in Florida is twice as, twice as big, and we're paying half the taxes. Yeah. Because we were paying... We were paying we were paying Baltimore City taxes and they were just uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Oh yeah, no the the property taxes here are. Uh, I mean, again, my point of reference is New Jersey. I didn't own a home and well, technically we did. We had a townhouse, um, but uh, the taxes here are remarkably cheaper. Now they've gone up. They've gone up for me um, over the course of. You know, I bought this house in two thousand three. So I've been here what seven almost sixteen years now, a little more than sixteen years. But I'll say that my tax, you know, my property taxes probably went from about twenty three hundred a year to maybe forty five hundred over mm-hmm. that time. So I can't really look at that and and the of course the value of the house is appreciated. Um, I really can't look at that as being, you know, bad. Um, yeah, we were we were paying over five thousand dollars. <laughs> in the city ta- in taxes and property taxes up in Maryland. And we're not paying that down here. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's that itself. And we have a bigger house. Yeah, and, and as Sean was pointing out the homestead rebate, which we'll get into on one of our shows, uh, the homestead rebate makes a big difference here. Mm-hmm. Um, when your house, you know, the homestead rebate is basically uh, that, you know, you buy a house and that's your primary residence. Uh, you get a, you get, you, you get, a discount basically on your taxes. Um, and it can be significant. It can absolutely be significant. Um, so your, your expectations were, were pretty in line. What about, you know, your experience with Disney, uh, from being somebody who vacationed here for so many years versus now it's in your backyard. Uh, first, let me ask, uh, do you still own your DVC contracts? I do. I do. In fact, I'm one of the ones that's going to lose points if the parks don't open before uh, July 31st. So okay, be having bank. Okay, Yeah, yeah. I had I had uh, points. I supposed to have a cruise on the 24th, 23rd of March, May. I'm waiting for Disney to cancel it. And I yeah, had, we have uh, one for the 30th. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, and I had a um, a grand villa for my family who we were, ta- uh, we were taking the cruise with, they were going to stay at the boardwalk one night in the Grand Villa. And so those points, uh, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose them if Disney doesn't reopen. But, mm. you know, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, not upset. It's a timeshare. You know, I knew going in what was, what the rules were and everything. But, uh, so I still own DVC. I actually use the points now just for mini staycations. You know, quick weekends here, quick weekends there. Um, so I've I've enjoyed that. Um, I don't plan on selling it, but never say never. <laughs> right. Um, so with Disney, the funny thing is, um, I thought we'd go to Disney more than we do. You know, my husband also works at Universal, so uh, if our days off aren't the same. You know, it's tough to to get together and say, okay, well, let's go over <laughs> over this over this day and spend the day over there. We like going over uh, over to Epcot when it opens, or not when it opens, when World Showcase opens. 
Mm-hmm. so that we can walk around especially during festivals i mean we spend more time over there doing food and wine uh yeah. than probably any time i didn't make it for flower and garden because i was working a lot but um it, it that's the, i think the one thing that surprised me i thought oh we'll go to disney all the time and we don't go to disney all the time well that's a trend. And just when people move down here, they 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 really start loving Epcot. Like that very quickly becomes people's favorite park, where they're like, "Oh, I love Epcot," and then they they quickly are like, "Oh, wow!" Well, it's always been my favorite park. Yeah, well, like Kevin Close says uh, all the time, Epcot is kind of like our Central Park um, mm-hmm. for locals. I mean, it's just a place we go. Uh, but yeah. you uh, you 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 work. Over at Universal, correct? Right. Right. And how long have you been there? Uh, um, I've been there a year. Okay. And how do you yeah. like it? Um, I love it. Um, they really are a great company to work for. Um, I enjoy, obviously, working 30 years in customer service with the Orioles and the Ravens. Um, I really enjoy working with the guests and enjoy that whole uh, atmosphere, especially when I'm in King's Cross and I'm out front and you've got people coming from all different directions asking you questions and, um, you know, dealing with the, the kid to ask you questions regarding Harry Potter. But when you're in King's Cross, you don't know about Harry Potter. You don't know about the wizarding world. Uh, so I have right. fun with that. You know, um, over at Hogsmeade, you know, you're part of the wizarding world. So it's different, different um, theming that's going on in both areas. How much, how much did, how much did working in the parks change your perspective on the theme parks? Um, I don't think it changed my perspective just because I had um, that experience in the baseball world so i knew you know things you know when i go to a baseball game anywhere if i go over to to the trap over to the trap over in tampa or, or back to camden yards i don't sit and watch the game i watch the people around me and i i think that's what I'm, I'm doing when i'm in the parks as as an employee or as a team member is i'm focused on on the guest you know it. When I'm when I'm walking through Disney, I'm looking at the the cast members and how are they treating people around them. So I, now, I come at it at a different perspective. Right, right. Now, what uh, what would what do you think? What do you want people who are currently planning this move to know? What 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 advice would you give somebody thinking about making the move to Central Florida? Uh, really look at every aspect. So housing, um, jobs, if you're going to be coming down here, either finding a job or transferring with your company, uh, have those finances uh, lined up. We, we were very fortunate in that um, our house is paid for. So we don't have to worry about anything, especially now with being going to be furloughed within the next few weeks um you know that have that uh, those thoughts in in your head because this area is so dependent upon the tourist industry as you all have witnessed it's you know it's a ghost town um but you really have to plan it out in detail I mean, it sounds like my husband and I, you know, just jumped on, you know, jumped in and and moved. But, you know, my father passed away in 2017 and we didn't move until September of 18. So it took us a good year, year and a half of purging in our our old house, (laughs) planning, uh, you know, how we were moving, what we were moving, when we were moving, where we were moving to. Uh, we came down here, I think, twice, three times and met with our real estate agent. Look at uh, look at houses or, you know, before we finally 
uh, settled on the one that we we chose. Uh, there's there's so much that goes into it that I don't think people really look at compare insurance rates because they are going to be more expensive because it's a no fault state. Yeah, you know, you've got to you've got to start thinking about all the minutia that comes into it, mm-hmm. and and you have to you you know maybe you think you want to move down here and it just might not be the best fit for you once you go through everything. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the hard reality. And yeah. I think some people come down here and think, oh, it's going to be, you know, mouse ears and and mini bows. And it's not. It's it's a reality. Is right. Your you know, life comes with you. Yeah. Your life. Your life yeah. comes with you. And that was a, that was the big surprise to me. Um, I, on some level, just thought that moving here was me would mean like I was perpetually on vacation. So it was a, you know, it was definitely some cold water in the face when I realized, oh no, I got to work and I got responsibilities. I got a house to take care of, and um, it's, it's not. The bills are still going to come in. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you, Mary, so much for taking some time to to chat with us, and uh, thank you guys for joining us again. If you're interested in uh, learning more about moving to Central Florida, head over to our website, movingtoorlando.com. Or shoot an email over to Sean, uh, Sean at uh, movingtoorlando.com. And that will do it for this episode of our show. We hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you again next time.